Hello everybody. I want to talk a little bit about another exercise you can use for horses that are a little bit resistant to the rider's leg. And one of the things I want you to start thinking about that more forward doesn't mean necessarily faster and making the horse go, you know, like a little running machine, like a little hamster in a wheel. Um, it has to do with developing carrying power. And carrying power means that the horse, horse's flexibility in his hind end needs to be um, in, developed in a way that there's strength enough to f push forward but also upward into the strides in all three gates, right? Mostly in the trot and in the canter, of course. And to start this, when you have a horse that is just starting to come a little bit out of their shell, you can ride some transitions within the trot. And rather than going into full-blown, you know, really asking for collection, you can help your horse ease into the idea of making some smaller steps where they have to engage their hind legs a little bit more. And that is by riding a nice big circle. You can ride a 20-meter circle or larger, and then s slowly spiraling in until you feel the horse becoming naturally a little bit more collected, a little bit slower, a little bit more measured in their stride. And then you go right back out and spiral out onto the larger circle. And the, the difference for the horse is that on the larger circle, their movement um, process is so much easier and the, their wishfulness and their willingness to go forward is enhanced by momentarily saying to the horse, you know what, let's go and make a little smaller circle and it's a little bit harder for a moment, but then it's going to get better in just a second right afterwards. So you go back and forth a little bit and engage the horse's mind and body in changing it up a little bit while you're playing and you're working on building strength and balance, right? So I'm going to go and get started a little bit with this and show you with Spidey here while we're just getting a little bit warmed up here. So, oh my goodness. so we're just going to put us on a large 20 meter circle here. You can see I've put some markers down on the ground, some cones for my own orientation so that I can not ride into Never Never Land. <laughs> and so here we have a pretty good posting trot for today. So I'm quite happy with that. It's not too fast, not too slow. And then I'm going to go slowly but steadily spiral in, step a little bit more to my inside stirrup, turn my inside shoulder back. And then here's about, I want to say, a, yeah, 10 meter circle. Come, come, see, and this is hard for him. <laughs> so that's why he's maybe slowing down and going into the walk, no big deal. So I'm going to say to him, here, we're going to stay not for very long, and then we're going to spiral out. It doesn't have to be, you know, anything special. It doesn't have to be a leg yield yet. Just a regular linear spine. The spiral is fine. And then we're going to go again, a little bit on the larger circle, we're trying to tuck my tailbone under a little bit, helping him to go a little bit larger in the stride. And then we're going to go back into the spiral. And you can tell that as we get into the smaller shape of the circle, he becomes naturally slower. He has to use and engage himself. Yeah, come, come, come. So, and I'm going to go right back out because that was very nice. This time he almost went into the walk, but not quite. So I want to reward that and think that's great. I'm going to go say to him, come forward, 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 <laughs> but in a nice way on the large circle. You know, nothing that he couldn't do by himself without me. <laughs> There's no extension yet or just a like mild little bit of lengthening of the stride. We'll do it one more time. And I'm going to increase a little bit my seat as I go into the center here. A little bit more. Come, 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 come on, Spidey. Good example. <laughs> as soon as it gets hard and I use more leg, he becomes resistant and resistant in his mind is walking, right? And all I'm going to do is say, hey, you can do this. Doesn't matter. Momentarily, the little defense system took his action. And then we're going to say, okay. And now we're going to go into a little bit of two-pointing here for a moment, making it really nice and really comfortable for him for a moment. So, come. 
So, pulsing again. So, good boy. So, and then we're going to go one more time into the spiral, into the smaller circle here. So, good boy. See if we can get him just to go around once. Very nice. Good boy. So, and back out onto the large 20 meter circle. And then I'm going to go right back into two pointing him. This hang here. Good boy. I'm going to let him chew the reins a little bit out of my hands. There you go. That's something he's not that familiar with yet. <laughs> he likes the security of my rain aid. So, but here it is. Little by little. <laughs> he's daring to stay stretched and in the trot. And I'm so happy with that. <laughs> so, good boy, Spidey. Thank you so much. So then we're going to go into the walk, take a little break, a little breather, and then after a little walk break, we'll do the same thing to the other side. So I hope this was <laughs> helpful to you and gives you some ideas on what else you can do with your horses. And as you can see, nothing is perfect right off the bat. That's why we're showing these working examples, working in progress type of situations. And thank you, Spidey. Thank you for watching and happy riding. Good boy. <laughs>